When an untrained mind thinks of warzone hackers, they think of rage hackers whose aim snaps onto people's heads. But there are settings and hacks which allows the player to disguise their aim assist to pass it off as natural skill. There are settings like aim smoothing, targeting an enemy's entire body instead of just their head or upper torso, and so forth. See, that's not sus. No, that's not sus. But this is. <laughs> that was only hacks. That was just a uh, basically soft thing. See okay. how I locked on at the end and only hit yeah. body? Yeah, because my settings are not sus. Watch already be hella sus with it. Because I know when to be sus and when not to be sus. In Z Laner's recent video, a random Phil teammate accuses him of hacking. Sadly though, his teammate is not Ron. There are instances of magnetic aim, where his reticle latches onto the enemy's hitbox. But when I tried to move the right analog from right to left, it didn't seem to be sticking or slowing down whatsoever. Look again, I'm scraping left to right with standard aim assist on, very marginal slowdown. Standard aim assist, there just doesn't seem to be that much of a glue effect. There is no stick, there is no lock, there's no snap. Z Laner has the audacity to spin his teammates' accusations into this sort of pathetic straw man figure. Of course, nobody will care about what this random person has to say, and by extension, it dissuades his supporters from ever looking into the other side of the argument, of which there is substantial evidence to place the legitimacy of Z Laner's god given skill into doubt. One of the comments on Zlaner's video says that this is just a natural result of pumping over 9,000 hours into practice and grinding. How silly. It is far more believable to say that Zlaner has placed over 9,000 hours of practice into disguising his cheats by way of narcissistic uh, sleight of hand. <laughs> 